What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Rex Righteous, and I'm back with another rap rant. All right, so I just finished watching the fight, like literally still watching the highlights. Uh, Wilder definitely, definitely got a nice, clean right hand on Ortiz in the seventh round, um, right around the end of the fight. It was clean. He did not uh, knock him down any other time. For the most part, I was watching it from like the first round off and on with my eyes going in different places. But, um, you know, it was a damn good fight. And I thought it was going to be a classic anyway. I said that in my uh, prediction. I didn't know if it was going to end in a knockout, but I knew that it could possibly be Wilder that wins the fight. I was rooting for Ortiz, but Wilder's just younger, fresher. He's not sick this time. Um, he got the knockout, and it was amazing. It was a thrilling knockout it was very much like if I, I all i'm gonna say is this if i was ortiz i wouldn't want to fight wilder again i wouldn't want a, a, a rematch or any of that anything like that so that's all i'm trying to say um guys uh this this isn't over this whole thing with wilder it's not gonna stop so um you know I'm not going to sit here and act like he's the most uh, strongest heavyweight in like in, in history or whatever. But, you know, 41 knockouts now with 42 wins. It is impressive. You know, he just needs to keep doing what he's doing and keep fighting the way he's fighting. I think Ortiz did a really good job. Um, he got really close on the inside of Wilder's defense. And Wilder never really threw that right hand until he was absolutely ready. And... The few times that he did throw the hand, his right hand, um, he didn't land that well, but he was telegraphing and he was measuring. So that's the thing. He was just measuring the whole time. So with a guy like Wilder, you have to be careful because he's just going to hold weight and weight and weight. And he did it with Fury. It's the same thing. No, it doesn't matter what style you come with. You come with a, a herky-jerky style. You come with a technical style. You come with a classical a fighting style or if you're a brawler you know wilder is ready you know what i'm saying and that is something that's commendable in boxing he's not just boxing he's doing the heavyweight style that we all like so you know aside from some of the goofy things that he's done in the, uh, in the negotiation table and back room and stuff like that all the little weird things he's done uh you know to to not fight and and do these things you know the guy deserves some credit you know what i'm saying and um you know, he's he's still he's still not a lot of people, you know, are his fans. You know what I'm saying? Like there's still people that still like Floyd. They still like Canelo, Canelo more than this guy. So I just want to give him his props. I think he deserves it. Big shout outs to the heavyweight division. I'm not going to say it's back, but I would love to see a fight between him and Ruiz or him and AJ. Uh it need, it needs to happen and you know i i thought that this would be perfect for boxing you know what i'm saying we had a couple of weeks ago the ksi and logan paul or whatever the hell his name is um and that kind of misrepresented boxing you know both guys make a million dollars and but that's not a big deal right um to me it is uh, this this guy only made like 3 mil from what i understand correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but that's not that much money you know, you got Broner where he's making seven versus Pacquiao. I know he's Pacquiao, but still, this guy's a heavyweight, and he's got 41 KOs. Where's the props for this guy? You know, I'm not caping for him, but at the same time, I want you guys to understand that Wilder's putting in work. Um, if there were more heavyweights, I think there would be more uh, to to speak about, you know, when it comes to the heavyweight division. So uh, that's just, that's being, with that being said, I just want to say, you know, I hope you guys are having a great week, enjoying your holiday. Uh, I still want to do the Q&As. Um, let, let's see how that goes. But um, um, whether you're mourning, whether you're with your family, whether you are with your loved ones or your friends, much love to you, yo. Much respects to you. You can always hit me up. You know, that you have access to me, like I said in the last video, you know, Raph Legend 193 the facebook group adm boxing adm boxing um just hit me up guys i'm on twitter too so until next time folks let's try to keep boxing alive peace out
both hands. And stay tuned. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Peace out. I'm out. Peace.